All right, hello, friends. So here is the long-awaited shaker um, video. So I've done it in two parts. You're gonna see this part, and then a next the next video will come right up um, because we're, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this type of shaker dashboard um, or pockets or whatever you know inserts and then also this kind which requires absolutely no fuse tool it doesn't require it requires acetate but it doesn't require um well i guess you could use this instead of acetate actually it's probably the same thickness as some acetate but you'll see what i mean so i'm going to show you these are all basically the exact same concept except for this one is a little different than this one because I punched the holes right into the thing. And you can get away with that if your um, sequins aren't small enough to like get through those holes. And mine really didn't, so I didn't worry about it. So I'll show you what I mean by that. But um, So I'm gonna basically show you how to do these things. And you can fill them with whatever you want. Um, not, you know, just, you can fill them with die cuts and things like that too, not just sequins or glitter. Um, I was going to show you because obviously those came with the kit, but you can find sequins and glitter and uh, like all that kind of stuff in so many forms. So these are really fun because this is like glitter, but it's kind of chunky and I got it at Michael's and it came, it was what, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was during their 60% off sale when all the recollection stuff embellishments were. So it has all these different colors in it, and then this one had like different shapes. Um, I bought these packs, which I love because they come with a mix of opaque and also iridescent sequins, and they have them in all different colors. I bought these off of Amazon. Um, I also got this off of Amazon. Uh, what else? I'll show you. These ones off Amazon. So, and then, oh, let me show you one more. Let me grab them really fast. So these, um, I got at Michael's too. Um, so they're $13, but I got them 50% off. They're just cute little jars full of stuff. So you can put whatever you want in them. And obviously there's lots of different companies that make them. Um, so if you wanted to add to this mix, you could by adding some other stuff in there. All right. So what we're going to start out with is, um, I am going to do a personal size one today because, um, it's just, you can get closer up cause I'm using my phone instead of my zoom in camera. So I cut myself basically the size of the dashboard that I need. And I just use, um, it seems like every planner is a little different. I don't ever go by a certain size. I just, usually when I buy a planner, it comes with a set of inserts. So I just take the inserts that fit that planner and then cut out myself a dashboard that size. Like I measure it that size. Um, but, uh, Usually I take it and make it just a teeny bit smaller because we we are going to need to make up some room for the gap that's going to be right here. So maybe just like a quarter of an inch smaller, like I'm and this way, not this way, but just this way, shorter, like longer. What's it? No, you guys know what I mean. And then I'm going to take one of these cards to decorate it and you could put some washi tape over the top of it. I am just going to, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will do washi tape on this. Let's see. Yeah, that's cute. And then, um, probably actually still want to glue this down though so the sequins don't get in behind it. So the washi tape is just more of a decorative piece than anything. I also need to make, oh, I also, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. Girls, come on. What? focus okay so the first thing that I need to do after I've cut it to the size that I want and then cut it just a little bit shorter I need to cut off the piece that's gonna go into here and it just has to be wide enough that I can punch holes in it is all so it doesn't have to be like you know super massive wide just wide enough so th I, these are my two pieces now all right so now I'm going to glue this onto the front and it's but it's this is better because then I know where to center it and I might even pull it up a little bit because we're going to fill the bottom of it with sequins and then let's put this little 
cute washi tape on it and I thought that would be cute on there too and I could leave it actually let's leave that in there as just free form all right so what I have is a um a photo sleeve these are the size that I use for my sticker books it's five by seven um but you can also use eight by ten eight by ten you can get more of them out of these are these ones kind of are a waste but it was the first one that I grabbed so um obviously I'm gonna have two sides that are already um done for me and that I don't need to close. Now this is if I'm using a fuse tool or if I'm using a sewing machine. So this is a fuse tool. And this one is by Becky Higgins. We are Memory Keepers has them. Jeez, um, you can get them just in the wood burning section um, of Michaels. So you don't have to necessarily buy a certain brand of them. Um, they all basically are the same exact thing. Now one trick I will tell you is it takes a long time for these to heat up. Like, I mean, it doesn't. Like, you'll touch your finger to it right after you get it hot and you're like, oh my gosh, they're plugging in and it's hot already. But the longer you leave it in, the better. So basically, when before I get all my stuff cut out, I plug this in somewhere and the whole time that I'm cutting this stuff out and gathering my stuff and doing all this, this is like heating up. So like a good, 30 40 minutes even an hour an hour wouldn't kill you to plug it in even in the morning if you know you're gonna do it so what we're gonna do is the first thing we need to do is do the line here so that we can get the sequins in here without falling out um, I am using a glass and I'm bugged that this is like being weird like that but um, I'm using a glass back thing or you could use chipboard. You don't want to use the rubber mats because this will burn the rubber mats. Um, so I would suggest using glass or if you have a wood table you don't care of. I really probably wouldn't care too much on this wood table because it's already distressed. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over and I'm just going to slowly go right kind of next to the side. And I don't want to get like super close to it because I want to be able to put some sequins in there and have some, um, you know, some leeway. And I actually did get kind of close to it. That's okay. I can still put sequins in there. They just won't move around as chunky as, or as much. But I just went slow and you just want to go slow enough that it per perforates it and kind of melts it to the opposite side. Um, then what I'm going to do is fill this with sequins. And this bag, there are so many sequins in it. This would do, like, all those projects that I showed you all came from the exact same bag. So you want to try and make sure you get them in the front. Oops, sorry. Not the back. See, and this is why you leave yourself a little more room. All right. There we go. So we got that in there. And then the next thing that we're going to do is take that piece of paper that we did and we're gonna stick it in here right next to it and just get it down nice and close. You want these all the way at the bottom. So now you have it there and you're just gonna do the exact same thing. And I'm gonna turn it over seems like when I do it on the back you see less of my mistakes if it's not if it's crooked and then turn it over and I'm gonna cut it down here and then we'll go across here now this is a little off so let me get this little guy down. Let's turn it over again. Now, if you're really particular, you can use um, a ruler or something to keep it straight. I am seriously like the least particular person you'll ever meet. So for me, I don't use anything. So there you go. Let's see how simple that is. And then you're going to take this in here and... Make sure I get it lined up. Punch the holes. Oh yeah, I forgot. And there I go. There's my thing. I've got to kind of cut these off the back because it doesn't punch all the way through. But super easy. Now, how do I do this same thing without, say, a fuse tool? Well, first of all, a fuse tool isn't that. 
Okay, sorry. My phone died. Or not phone. Somebody called my phone. <laughs> Um, so it went off. So hopefully this isn't too choppy. So anyways, that's it. So the other thing you can do is you can use a sewing machine. If you're a sewer and you have a sewing machine, you would just sew these lines down instead. Now the final way to do it, um, by the way, if you're just doing a cute little pocket like this, you can buy ones that are smaller. Like if you wanted to do a four by six and just, these are exactly four by six size. So the only thing you have to do is across the top and, um, for these too, if you wanted to, so that you didn't, if you don't have a fuse fill, you can use these and then you can just put a piece of washi tape at the top or you can even put a piece of clear masking tape at the top because the tape won't see that well or you won't see it that well. But let me show you. So let's just pretend that all of these are open sides and I need to close them. Um, so what you would do is just take, and you can do this one of two ways. Okay, well, I'm, on, I'm busy, so tell them they're going to have to come back. Um, anyways, sorry. <laughs> okay, so what you would do, and there's two ways you can do it. You can lay it right on top of the paper, so make this bigger, and then go down the other side, um, too. So that it's like even on both sides. And the thing about doing it this way also is because you already have one side that's um, um, perforated if you buy these already, you know, because most of them, all the pre seat, pr sheet protectors have two sides that would already be working in your favor. Then you only have to washi tape one side and the top if you wanted to, or you could also just. Um, glue this shut with clear tape, like put that on first, a teeny, teeny bit, teeny piece, so you hardly even see it, and then put this down the side, and then your eye won't even notice that clear tape up this, but then you have this cute kind of side piece like this. So this would need to compensate, obviously, then your card would start right here. Let's see, I had an extra card around here somewhere. Where did it go? There it is. Okay, so for example, this, I would want my card to fit within here. So, because I still need this space to punch the holes. That's where I want to punch my holes. So again, then I can fill this up with fun glitter, whatever sequin stuff. know who that was at my door when he said people it makes me think of like people that are just coming all right and you don't necessarily have to have this piece like I said like you can make it like this little card and you can just go in there and punch it just like that through there just make sure you get all your like sequins and stuff down here when you punch it so you don't necessarily have to have this piece if you don't like that um, and then what we're gonna do is cut this down and as I mentioned before, we can take a piece of clear tape and run it across the top and fold it over. So it's basically closing it here at the top. Um, so you only have this, or we can take, I don't think I'd wanna do that, this, and we could do it on all four sides so that it's even on all four sides. So it could washi tape the whole thing shut. But I think I just wanna use clear tape. I don't have any right by me. Um, and I, and I won't notice that clear tape once everything else is on. And then depending on where I want to put it in my planner, let's see, get it in there. and then I just punch holes and I can stick it in my planner. So, so you can do these without the fuse tool. You can use washi tape instead, clear tape you can use, um, a sewing machine. And then the next part, I'm going to show you how you can make um, more of like the boxed where the, where it's between two pieces of paper. Um, and this, you can actually still use these, like this clear thing. You can still use that right there, cut them out, or you can use acetate, either one. Um, but I was going to show you one last thing though. 
Um, this is the hole punch that I use. I've shown it before, um, but it's from, it's a, it's, I don't even know, PL, I don't know what it's called, PLU, I'll, I'll link it, but I love it because it does all three size of um, planners. So this size is the A5, you pull it in, that size is the um, personal, and then it even goes one, or it goes, actually has four sizes, and then it goes even down, to, you go down to this lowest size, and that would be if you're using a pocket size planner. So pretty cool, cause and it's cheap, it was like 19 bucks. So that's my favorite one. I have a few of those um, around, but there you go. Um, by the way, so there's two people that make these little pocket things, um, where there's a few people, Project Life, and then also um, the Simple Stories makes these. And Project Life does them in a whole bunch of different sizes, like they do two three by three and different things. So if you want less, like, if you want that fuse look almost around all of it, use this size and then just tape the top with clear tape. Um, but yeah, there you go. So let's move on to the second part of this. So we'll see it in just a bit. All right, so we in this section, I'm gonna show you how to do like kind of a shaker thing and this can be applied to paper clips or anything so the same technique can be applied across the board so what you need for this is a piece of paper I'm I'm making all of these like I said before <clears throat> in personal size just so that I can film closer up um, and then I'm also using these cards but you can use whatever you want um, you could use you know all these these cute little things on the back that'd be fun too anyway so what you first need to do is cut down your paper to the exact size that you want it okay and then you're going to take your card and if you have to cut it down a little bit which I did just because I know I'm normally I wouldn't because it would still fit on here but because I'm putting a shaker box on top of it I wanted to cut it down a little bit to give me room for those um, those pieces so before I put it on here though, I stuck it on top. I cut two of these out, so exactly the same, punched holes in them. Um, I put this on top of here, and then I basically just cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Um, I also, actually not an X-Acto knife, but you can use an X-Acto knife. I actually use this tool. It's called the, um, I don't know what it's called, gyro cut. Euro. You normally you'd call this a euro. I don't know what it, I really don't know what it's called. But you can use it for cutting stencils or different things like that. And it's nice because the blade just like you can do circles and stuff with it. So when I cut this out, this piece out, basically I just put this down on top and then I just traced around it and cut it right out. So you can cut out fun shapes and stuff with it. Um and I'll link it. I got it off Amazon. I'll link it down below. So you're going to take that on top of there and trace it and cut it out either with scissors or something, but you're going to be left with this. Then you're also going to cut yourself a piece of acetate. And I also got acetate off of everything. Like I get everything off of Amazon because we live in a small town and don't always have a store. I'm not going to back up, but you can see here it just says acetate. Um, this one is only point. Let's see, what was it? 0.5, I think it was. Yeah, 0 0.05. Um, I think it could be a lot stronger, so I would go, I'm going to link um, this one that I actually got and then a thicker one, like a 0 0.7 or even a 0 0.2, 0 0.007, or a 0.202 is even thicker so because it's still kind of flimsy. And then I um, cut this down to fit on top of here, and basically it also covers this hole here but it's not gonna mess with the holes that I have punched. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna take this and glue this piece down right here. And the easier, it's easier for me just to put the glue here. And then lay this down on top. And there really isn't a back or front to this acetate. <clears throat> but like I said, this one isn't very sturdy, not very strong. But it's, I mean, it's good enough. It'll serve its purpose, so. And I did get glue on it, which is not good. Now, um, I kind of go back and forth on the glue that I use. Um, probably doesn't help that I'm having glue there. 
Right now, I've been using lately this Max Tacky Adhesive by Aleens. And actually, there was another one, one that I got by her too that was totally basic permanent. And I kind of liked it better, but I can't find it. And then I also love this Pioneer Glue Stick. This is like super strong. Um, so I'll link, I'll link all of that stuff to Amazon. Um, this, I, the lean stuff I actually got at Michael's. Um, I'm annoyed because I got my glue on there. But that's all right. Okay. So then your next step is that you need to get some scotch mounting tape and oh I just dropped this on the floor all right so there's two different kinds um both of these I got off of Amazon but there is one that is um let's see a 16th inch thick I believe and one that is um is it half inch or eighth inch? Anyways, um, there, there's a, I'll link those so you'll see them. But see, there's a difference. Like this one is really thin and then this one is thicker. So can you see the difference between the two? Um, I tend, when I make these, to use this, even though it's not quite as thick and the sequins aren't gonna move around as much, it just doesn't add bulkiness. Um, whereas, the thicker ones would which is fine it's like that this is the thickness that most people use when they do like a shaker card for a scrapbooking page or something like that but if you don't want that thickness because you'll see how thick that would get um, then you can use the thinner stuff um, for like a shaker dashboard now it comes in a roll like this and I just take a big long piece cut it down and then I cut it like I um, take it and cut the strips like this so that they're thinner because I don't need that wide of pieces. Um, so these are the wider ones. I'm going to use the thinner ones though, just because I know I like the thinner ones better. Let me see if I can find them. There they are. So I already pre-cut these and I'm just going to lay these down here, making sure that my, that's a thick one. a little long that I got them just exactly right all right and I might you don't really want to have a piece like you don't want like a little hole like that in there because um, you don't want the sequins to come out, but I doubt I have any sequins that's gonna be that big. You're not gonna see that anyways, but. And then you're just gonna pull this off, and then you're gonna take your sequins and fill up the space with it. So however much you wanna use. Like I said earlier, there's so much that comes in these, like it could last you like you can make so many projects with it and that kind of covers up the words a little bit but it's okay and then I am going to just take this and I want to make sure that this sticks so um, I am gonna take glue and put glue on the side of this too and then I'm just gonna line up oops I didn't go far enough out on those dirt. I have to go beyond. Now this stuff is really, really sticky, by the way. I have to go on the outside of these. I forgot about that. Which means I probably gotta cut some new. Go slightly. Come now. 
outside of there. Now I may need to cut this one down a little. Just because I don't want to get too close to that. Okay, this should work now. I really should have put it on the outside of that. That would have been better, but it's okay. This way I can see it easier. Take that top layer off. Sometimes it's easier to take the top layer off before you even put it down. All right, so now we're going to put this on top. And again, we're going to line up the pieces. I probably could have added some more glue to that. But, and then you're gonna have just a teeny bit of lip. See that right there? Now because, but it still shakes. So that's why I like the thin stuff. Like I don't feel like it needs to be totally thick. Um, but if you don't like all of this dead space, you can take foam, those foam pieces and you can go right up to the edge. So you basically the whole edge has like this foam on it. Do you see that? Or you can leave it um, and if you want and you don't mind it how it comes down, you can also just tack it down. So it will be like more poofy in the middle and tacked down at the sides. I actually just glue mine down, but if you want a more clean look, it would make more sense to take one of these pieces and go right to the edge with them. Just so they're even. See what I mean? So you've got that in there. Anyway, so that's it. So simple. Um, and anything that's clear, really, you can use because it doesn't have to be super sturdy. By the time you get all these pieces on, it's pretty sturdy. Um, so the the one that I have actually would work fine with it. Now this is another one that I use that I did, um, and I'm gonna actually take it and attach it to the top of something else because I didn't leave myself room to punch holes to like stick it right in the planner. So I'll put it on top of another dashboard that I make. Um, but I wanted to show you how easy this is to do like circles. So let's just say this is a circle. Well, it is. And um, so you'd, cause what you don't want is you, it's some, you don't want it to have like, you don't want to have all these little teeny pieces. So I'm just gonna show you how cool this is. Now, again, the same exact concept can be used for a paper clip. So if you made something smaller, like just take this and make it like this size or whatever, um, you have a paper clip that's a shaker now too, without having to use a fuse or cut it out on your silhouette or anything like that. So this, if you take both sides off, like we talked about, it bends totally to where you want it to go and it goes like around stuff probably right here instead of trying to come up and around it I would cut this off come go around and then start it again but the less cuts that you have in it so much easier but it just bends it's awesome so it can go around shapes and different things like that so another thing that would be cute too for a shaker is if you just did this um, and don't didn't use a pattern because you can see the pattern through it but use like a piece of thick white cardstock and put this on it and then um, cut this out around it um, and then you could actually either laminate this or you could um, use this technique around it 
or use the technique that I showed you at the first and create a cute little paper clip or, or anything, even just a cute little shaker thing. So there you go. That is um, this style, which doesn't require a fused tool. Um, the other one doesn't necessarily either. Obviously, you can use washi tape and stuff. But this is just another fun way to do it. And this shape can be anything. Like I said, it doesn't have to be... Um, it, it doesn't have to be like a square. You can do whatever shape you want inside of that. So, all right. I hope this video was helpful and I can't wait to see what you guys make. So thanks for joining me. See you guys.